Hello again, everybody. Ivor Chester, your balance coach. Thanks for your time. I appreciate you taking a break in your busy day to spend a bit of time with me. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about how you talk. All right. Now, this is something that's very near and dear to my uh, heart because, well, I got a mouth on me. And so do a lot of people that have uh, had to manage certain diagnoses that over their lives or just their upbringing. They may not have everything that they really uh, that they really should have uh, installed because, again, the diagnoses, their upbringing, their choices, the, just the things that have happened to them, and they lack the social handles to be able to reach out. So, what does this mean? Well, if you're here watching this, you know my handle on my Facebook business page is called the Had Enough Guy. I got that term when I used to work at Millwood Hospital, and I worked there just short of seven years. That's seven years, or as a co-worker told me then, Thad Stenson said to me, uh, seven years in psych is like 21 years in the real world. We would work eight-hour days. It was like more like 12-hour days in the real world because the wear and tear is something else. But one thing I did notice is that the best way to get into people uh, as quickly as possible, the information that they needed so they could succeed best was to be direct, not to flower it, not to give a lot of psych jargon, a bunch of psychobabble, what was really important was to speak a way that got in direct. Now, I transferred uh, a couple of years later. I, when I quit Millwood, I went on to another hospital, and that type of messaging did not resonate because it was a type of spa through psych hospital, or as the CEO that, that used to be there called it a niche, what do you call it? A boutique hospital. A boutique hospital. And though... The clientele was similar. Their expectations of it were different. So my directness was not a very good fit. And I did not thrive at that job. And I didn't get the information across that needed to be got to most of the patients. Matter of fact, I ticked off a lot of them. Because they just didn't want to be spoken to directly. Now, when I say directly, please understand, I am not saying uh, aggressively. But I am saying assertively. Uh, if you're on fire, you don't want people to walk up to you and go, uh, you okay? Everything all right? Uh, how you feeling? You know, you may have kind of a problem. Do you realize that uh, there's flames shooting out of, uh, of your clothing and your hair's on fire, but uh, you okay? Because you, I don't want to disturb you. The friends I have, the relationship I have with my wife and how I raise my kids is I want them to be lovingly direct, meaning I want you to know my heart, which is always in love. It springs from a garden of love. However, I want them to be direct. I don't want them to, to hit me with this, how does that make you feel? Or, um, I, 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 they, I don't want them to worry about hurting my feelings. I would rather somebody love me enough to tell me exactly what I need to know so that I can thrive as quick as possible. So you have to have that nugget, that bridge between your brain and your mouth, which they say is the greatest span uh, known to mankind, is those few inches between the brain and the mouth, to say what you think, but also buffer it, or as the kids say today, filter it, in such a way that you're not being a jerk okay now I balance that I, I have I have at times issues with just wanting to pop right off and say uh, what does dr. Phil say how's that make you feel or how's that working for you That's what he says. how how you speak is going to dictate what you get in life now a few days ago I did one on ask and you have to be assertive enough to speak up and ask for what you want. Because if you don't ask for what you want in life, here's some high science, you won't get it. 
how you speak up around the people who who are in the orbits around you, who are in your social funnel. These these people should you owe them a directness of how you feel, what what you're going through, how you feel about them. And that doesn't mean by you walking up and going, eh, I hate the belt with the shoes. <laughs> Uh, it, it means, by the way, if I've never told you, I really appreciate you speaking up for me. Uh, or thank you for stopping me from doing that. Or I love you. Just some basics. Those kind of things are getting lost on social media. People are replacing the actual art of human touch uh, with with emoticons and with uh, just little punctuational marks, little winky face. No, that's, you owe it to the people around you to let them know how you feel, both good and bad, but not with the bark on, in other words, not, not mean. But you do need to be direct. Save the time. And what is this going to get you? Well, it's, again, a winnowing process to where the people who don't like that, who bristle at that, who, who may be even uncomfortable with you being direct in a loving way, they will uh, they'll leave. They're not going to like you saying, hey, I love you, or don't do that around me, or not around my kids, or not in my house. Uh, they may leave. And if they do, it's like, sometimes it's like the trash taking itself out. But on the other hand, the people who stay, they're going to stick because they know exactly what to expect of you. And you've heard me say this before. And then you're surrounded by a cadre of friends that know and love you, and you know and love them, and they feel safe and secure. They don't have to worry about a bunch of uh, emotional landmines or hoops that they have to jump through or blow up in their face because you haven't spoken directly. Uh, these type of things are important, but always, 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 you do it out of a heart of love. That way, people know what you're going to say may smart a little bit, okay? It may sting. It may not be exactly what they want to hear, but if they know you're a loving soul, if they know that you come from a heart of caring, and they know that they are safe, and they're going to appreciate it in the long run. In the long run, it is something that is dearly lacking in the world today. We're an instant gratification society, and the worst for it. So we're going to have to start coming across, uh, seeking more the long term. My action statement for you today is what I want you to look around, how you to be a little more direct. Not a jerk, but start working on that balance. Use your please and thank yous. Be courteous. Uh, but reach out to people, pat them on the back, touch them in a positive way and say, hey, you know, I just thought I'd let you know, ever since the day I started this job, you have been so helpful to me. Or, you know, when I first started this job, you were very kind and uh, helped orientate me and you've made a big difference. I'm very thankful. So please reach out to these people, or even if it's your spouse. Never ever do what uh, they joke about and people seem to I'm finding this to be true where they've been together for months years and they don't say I love you frequently because they'll say well I, I told you uh, when we got married or uh, if I didn't love you you think I'd still be here well, find out what their love language is and speak Look up the book by um, The Five Love Languages. Okay, I think that's Smalley, is it not? Or is that Chapman? I'm probably wrong on both. Uh, but find their love languages and speak to that, but speak directly. That way you can get it back. Because when you speak that language, they'll speak it back to you. And then you've created this, this language, like what I spoke about recently, that is... Indwells a sense of of uh, upbuilding, and it helps grow you and strengthens you 
and you are surrounded by people who you love and they love you. All right, we'll speak to you again soon. I'm uh, at Twitter and Instagram at Iverchester3. Next Monday, we're going to be starting something different. I'm going to be making a separate post on this, but I'm going to go ahead and spill the beans a bit right here. Next Monday, we're going to start a new Zoom. And if you don't know what Zoom is, look it up. It's just exactly what it is, zoom.com. Download it on your phone or on your laptop. If you don't know what it is, look it up, as I said. And we're going to be doing Zoom where uh, I'll be doing bits like this, but I'll have people uh, in the Zoom. It's free. It's free. It's free. We're going to uh, do some initial ones where people can just come in, join in. We're going to ask questions. We're going to have some talks. Be a bit of a little mini workshop right here. That way people can get close and get to know their uh, their causes and their the ways they want to go forward. And we can do this as a group. Until then, I appreciate your time. They'll be post. I'll be posting more about this real soon. I appreciate it. God bless you. See you out there.